One of my jobs in the early days with the Kivo Mining Group, uh, which later became Tech Corporation, was um, grub staking prospectors. Uh, grub staking is a, is a concept and idea that's gone by the boards now, but in the uh, uh, 40s and 50s and 60s, uh, prospecting was very common and there was a lot of prospectors around and uh, they would come around and ask individuals and companies for a grub stake. They would be raising anywhere from ten to thirty thousand dollars for a summer's exploration program and they would come in and see us and I would uh, often give them five hundred or a thousand dollars for a small piece of their grub stake. So, um, and I probably, with the Kegel Group, handled maybe 20 grub stakes a year. And all these prospectors were part of the Prospectors and Developers Association. At that time, you had to be, to be a director of the PDA, you had to be a prospector. That would change later on. So I got to know these people, and uh, they didn't like writing reports or briefs, and many of them couldn't do it. So they knew me and, and started asking whether I would be able to help them if they were doing a brief to the Securities Commission or the Tax Department on these matters. So very early on, I, I started uh, helping on briefs. And um, the association had a difficult period in the mid-60s when Mrs. McMillan had to leave. And I helped the, them restore the association the next year. And then finally, I, um, I went on the board in 1970 of the uh, Prospectors and Developers Association. And I was the first engineer, per se, to be a director. And um, I helped run the convention that we have in Toronto every year. And, uh, and then in 1975, uh, uh, Jim Walker and I went in. I was in, went in as vice president and Jim was president and he was a geophysical contractor and gone a large part of the year so essentially I was running the association during the two years he was president and then I became president myself in 77 and uh, we uh, we expanded the board uh, uh, to 48 members and uh, it had been anywhere between 12 and 30 it seemed to vary you know many directors they had and they didn't really have any routine for a regular directors meeting. We decided that we would, uh, we would go across Canada and we talked people into going on the board to represent the industry across Canada. And uh, we would have a meeting every month at the same date so that people could come to Toronto. They knew that the second Tuesday of a month that we're going to be a PDA board meeting and they could do other business, visit relatives, or raise money, or talk to an engineering firm. So we changed the association uh, big time and made it, uh, you know, representative across Canada and uh, regular board meetings and formed uh, uh, quite a few new committees that would work on land regulations or taxation, securities commission, uh, all these issues that we ended up with about 12 different committees. And uh, I've been involved in it ever since. Uh, I started the awards committee uh, with them in 78 with one award, the Bill Dennis Canadian Discovery of the Year. And I'm still chair of that awards committee uh, now, and we're just meeting now. So we have uh, six or seven awards we give out every year, that the awards night on the Monday night, we acknowledge people's contribution to the industry. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, over 50 odd years uh, I've been involved with them on just about every committee uh, and uh, they're, um, you know, many of the people are lifelong friends. Mm -hmm.